we also have, I have a whole, I got made fun of last year because I was old school reading from a piece of paper. So this year, I've got it all written down right here. So I, I'm in, I'm in. All you young people, you really admire this. I have a lot of thank yous. I'll try to make this as quick as possible because I know you want to get out there and sweat in this, in this heat. But uh, I want to say thank, uh, thank God for a, such a beautiful day and for such a, uh, an honor to be here and among with you. You are friends, family from this community, and it's, it's a special place. How many of you, this is your first uh, Hero 5K? How many first-timers? Wow, great. Thank you. What about, what about, uh, how, many have, has, how many have been here for the whole, this is the eighth annual. Anyone here for a full eight? You look at there. Wow, that's great. I see some people back there that I have to drag out here every year, but they're here by you so thank you uh, for coming out, etc. cetera. Uh, I want to thank, we're going to hear from Ralph Quizno in a, a few minutes to sing our national anthem. I want to thank him personally. Also thank him for bringing his family. There's got, there's like 20 of them out there. So, all the Quiznos, where's your, raise your hand, look at the Quiznos. They, they win the award every year for the biggest family thing. I would be remiss if I didn't thank the city of Loveland for helping us put this uh, on. Uh, I don't know if there's anyone here from city government. You probably don't want to raise your hand, but we do thank, we, we do thank you. Uh, I want to thank our sponsors. On the back of your t-shirts, there's a whole list of folks who, who chipped in a, a significant amount of money. And I'm going to mention it right now. This year is a record year for donations for the Seth Mitchell Hero 5K. Our goal is to make this a sustaining event that happens every year. So you can bring yourself every year and your kids, etc. But this year, through your generosity, and I know there's lots of ways and things to give to right now that are worthy. It's, uh, I'm so appreciative. But... We've raised over ten thousand dollars for this year, and I think that's a that's a, a tribute to thanking Greg and his wife Mara is here. These are the people that actually Connie and I and Connie, my wife is here. She's right out here in the front. We don't we don't do anything. We just show up every year and, and take five minutes of your time thanking you. But uh, uh, I want to thank the the committee that sets this up, and that's Greg, his wife Mara, Molly, uh, Emrick. I know she don't want me to point out who she is, but uh, Damian Cook and Jen Cook. Joe Horst is here, and Marissa, they put a lot of time into this every year, and they have busy professional lives and families. I thank them so much. Um, our servicemen and women, I want to thank our color guard from the Marine Corps, Chosen Reservoir. Any of you that have served, thank you so much. Also, all of you that serve in the capacity of, of a first responder, a policeman, an EMT, a teacher. Uh, I thank you so much for being here. Uh, as, as they've already said, I won't go over this, provides scholarships. I, I do want to mention that con in addition to the scholarship raised by, by the funds at this race, Connie and I partner with an organization called the Let Us Never Forget Scholarship Foundation. Uh, I'm not sure anyone is here representing them, but they have been our partners in providing a scholarship uh, for eight years. Uh, they're a worthy group. Uh, you may have remembered it was started back in 04, 05 by Keith Maupin in honor of his son. And Talk about a ripple effect that Katie McElveen talked about earlier. Uh, t turning a tragedy into a, a, something that has benefited to the tune of over $300,000 worth of scholarships. Uh, the Yellow Ribbon Support Group and the Let Us Never Forget Foundation is a, is a marvelous thing. Um, we have, uh, we, I, are there any of our past recipients here or their parents? I know I see some parents in the background. You can raise your hand, that, that's good. And the McElveens are here. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Geiger's, are, oh, see, there's a lot. So these people, the ripple effect that Katie talked about this year in her, in her uh, letter and in her interview with us is, is really happening. And it's something for all of you really young people to think about. You know, you will make a difference in somebody's life somewhere, someday. So it's going to have a, a ripple effect. Seth had a heart for those in need and would no doubt be thankful for your support here today. Uh, there are extreme needs all across this world for your fellow man, and which makes me even more appreciative that you donated and, joined, and came out today to do this. I encourage you in whatever way you can to help support your fellow man. man. And um, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of our heart, Connie and I. Thank you. Have a great run today. Just take it easy. It's 80-some degrees, and this is Loveland, Ohio, so be easy. Take you some water with you, whatever, but have a good time, and uh, let's make this uh, the best ever, which it already is, to be honest with you. Thank you.
Good one, Gas. Here we are. <laughs>